the past couple of days um, have been rough. I feel like right now, um, the first thing I want to say is I hope that everybody's safe. Um, everybody's staying positive um, through the tough times because it's a serious time right now in our lives where we're seeing a lot of things. And um, right now is just the time to to stay posit- as positive as we can. Um, I just wanted to start, I'll start off by saying like how, how I feel as of right now on what's going on, what's going on around. And then whatever you guys feel free, you want to say, <clears throat> you guys can say, um, first off, I just wanted to say, uh, I just wanted to pay my respects to, uh, George Floyd and, and just, um, wanted to say rest in peace. Um, It's hard <clears throat> to uh, say something, um, but what I w- really wanted to say is that um, the tough times never last, and if you want to fight for something, keep fighting for it, um, even though some people may disagree, I feel like um if you believe in something, you should be heard, and yeah, I mean, like, it's just, it's tough to speak on it right now, because as a person, I like to observe everything before I jump into what I have an answer to, and it's very hard to come up with an answer. I'm sure not a lot of people have an answer or or understand how to uh, react or what to say, but, um, you know, like, I just wanted to say, like, from the bottom of my heart, like, I hope everybody's safe, um, and, uh, I hope, um, I hope that things will get better soon, um, and as of right now, like, that's all I have to say, but, um, there's so much, like, more that I want to say, it's just difficult right now, like, to explain myself, but... It's hard seeing everything happen the way it's going right now. But, uh, yeah, just I hope that everybody stays safe. And that's all I want to say right now. Me? Okay. Yeah, that was good. Um, like you said before, uh, you know, rest in peace to George Floyd. Um, you know, it does suck. Uh, no one deserves to be treated like that. And I know there's many more people um, that have been affected by police brutality. Um, and I think this was just the, the breaking point, you know what I'm saying? And like you said, uh, BJ, that I'm sitting back and just observing everything, you know? Um, a lot of evil things are peaking its head, you know what I'm saying? Um racism, uh, people arguing back and forth. and But one of the biggest things, I'm uh, sorry, and police, police brutality, um, but one of the biggest things is I've noticed, and JD has always told me this, is that media has been a big problem. You know, we I always go on, uh, you know, mainly I go on Twitter to see what's going on and I kind of just sit back and watch everything. Um, Media, I feel like, in my view, I could be wrong, uh, but in my view, media is trying to divide us. You know what I'm saying? Who's right? Who's wrong? This or that. And that, that's not the point. You know, I think, first and foremost, when people say Black Lives Matter, I don't think they're trying to say that only Black Lives Matter in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, it, it does. You know what I'm saying? But the big picture is all lives matter, yeah. But for this problem that's going on, it is mostly people of color who are being uh, attacked by policemen. And I'm saying I'm not saying all policemen are bad, um, because there's evil everywhere you go. Um, It's just the problem right now is the police brutality, Um, uh, and it it sucks. You know, Uh, no one deserves to go through that as a white person in this country. 
you know, we do have that privilege. Um, and so I'm going to try my best to, to use that to help people out. Um, but this shouldn't be race versus race. Um, it should be everybody versus racism and evil. Um, but I get, I get where it's going. And if you're going to go out there and protest and have your voice be heard, perfect. Go and do that. If you're out there just to loot and hurt businesses that have started from the ground up, like some, some people are going there just to loot. Um, and that's not okay. To me, personally, that's not okay because you're, you're ruining businesses um, that have started uh, a while back. This is their whole career, and they're, you're just doing it just to do it. Some people are there to take pictures. Some, like, there is a more important message, and that is to get justice for George Floyd and what they're doing. Um, I feel like things are going to change, which is very good. Um, you know, and it's, like you said, VJ, it is a very hard topic not to talk about without trying to offend anybody. And I, I, if I offended somebody, I'm sorry. This is from the heart. Um, you know, all lives do matter. But for now, when they say black lives matter, it is about police brutality versus people of color. And I don't have a say in that because obviously I have that pri privilege, which is unfortunate. Um, but earlier I was talking to you guys. And this is, I'm going to try to relate this the best way that I can. And that's with sports, right? Obviously, a, a man passed away, George Floyd, um, through police brutality. There's autopsies both back and forth. People could argue, no, a man died and he should not, should not have been in that situation. Someone should not have been on his neck for that, what is it, two minutes, three seconds? Mm -hmm. That should never happened. I don't care what people say. I'm glad he is getting convicted. It should be higher, in my opinion. It should be first-degree murder. And they're char I think they're charging the other four cops too, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is good. So justice is good things are coming out of this. I promise you guys, good things are coming out of this. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna relate to this relate to this in the best way I can, and that's sports. Everyone, or let's just say everyone, most of you guys have played on a a sport, right? You guys, obviously, me and BJ played baseball for a long time. We all we all played baseball or some sort of sport. When you're on that team. What is, the mo what is the most common thing you guys all agree on, right? Uh, like, I'm asking you guys, what's the most common thing you guys agree on? For, are you, like, as a team. Winning. For that, winning, exactly. Winning. Trying to succeed with the people who are on your team, right? I look at it like this. This country needs to be a team. Right now, it does not feel like a team. It feels like cliques, races, going against each other. It should not be like that. We need to be a team. We need to fight against what is wrong with this country and there's so many things wrong with this country but we have to stick together as best as we can we have to fight for each other right so the most common common thing is to win with each other mm -hmm. and to succeed we are going to lose as a team that happens but we got to keep pushing and try to win together and succeed right now i'm gonna ask you guys has there ever been a teammate that you did not like or agree with on a, on a team, right? Mm -hmm. Let me just put it this way. Even though there's people that you may not agree with or respect, you still have to fight for each other, right? A winning team, and like, I, I know this this may sound ridiculous, but this is the best way I can explain it because, you know, we're all sports. Like, we're, we're sports people here. You're not going to have people... Who are going to respect you or or agree with your opinion? That does not mean you quit on them. You you talk about it. You don't fight about it. And if you fight about it, you you argue and boom, you're done. You try to come to a common ground to win together. If you do not do that on a team, you are not going to win, right? No matter if you don't respect them and you don't like them, you don't have to like everybody. But that does not mean you attack them because you are still trying to win together because you are on the same team. Right, so this we are all in the same country. It may not seem like this is the best country, and it's not. There are so many evil things going on in the world, but we have to come together for a common goal, stick with each other, and keep fighting. Now, I'm not going to say names, you guys know who I'm talking about, but as a team, there are coaches or leaders that you do not agree with. That does not mean you would chat, attack each other just because of the coach, right? You still fight for each other. You still back each other up. 
And if you do not find an understanding with each other, and as a country, as a nation, we are not going to get anywhere. We're going to continue to fall. Right? So I think summing all this up, we have to stick together, stand together, fight, and try to win. Because right now we are going to a very dark place. And I know, it's like you said before, it's not going to be like this forever. We are going to get through it. So stay positive. Love each other. Support each other. Um, and if you do not agree with what is going on and you think that police brutality is not real, that white privilege isn't real, you are wrong. There was a lot of evil in this world. Not every policeman is a bad cop. I understand that. I understand that media is controlling on what we see. But we just have to stop fighting with each other. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. But like the most important thing is bringing justice for George Floyd and to so many people who are suffering from this. Um, I'm very sorry. It sucks. Um, but we are going to get through this together and we just gotta Yeah, we just gotta stay together. That's all I gotta say. Racism is bad, I think we can all agree. And unfortunately, on this side of heaven, on earth, r- evil, racism, prejudice, it's never gonna be completely gone. And that's just the sad truth. Racism is bad. I condemn it, every form of it. But there's just evil that will not go away. However, I'm not saying we should just give up and stop fighting. We need to come together, have peaceful discussions, find common ground. Because everything you guys just said, I pretty much agree with. We need to find common ground, see what we agree with each other. Or see what we agree on and yes the media is controlling what you see the media is evil i don't care fox news cnn msnbc any of them evil they want they they're trying to make it look worse than it is and it's it's pretty bad out there yes but the media is not helping in the slightest and they're just letting this all happen and I'm just going to keep this brief. Racism is bad. But I don't think going nuts and burning everything down is the solution. Racism is bad. I condemn it. I think I think it's so hard to discuss this for us because, like, we love every single person, like, in our lives. You know what I'm saying? Like, we love everybody. We yeah. try to respect everybody. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what race you are, religion, sexual orientation. We do not care. We respect everybody. We love everybody, especially for the people who are sticking with us. We love every single one of you guys. And I think that's why it's so hard and difficult for us because before we got here, like, we had to sit down and say, you know what? We have to we have to discuss about this before we, before we keep posting stuff because <clears throat> this is such a big topic and it's not even, it's like, it's affecting cities, bro. Like, it's affecting, like, just the vibe of everybody and it sucks but like we have to go through it because we're fighting for justice and we're fighting for equality because that's a big thing I'm saying I feel that no matter and like props to what's going on like really trying to push a change you know Mm -hmm. you can't you can't be blinded by it there's no way around it you're seeing it everywhere you know so it's not like we we're trying to feel and think positively we're trying to like move forward but i mean we couldn't do this podcast without addressing and telling you how we feel and just paying our respects and just talk talking on it because it would be wrong like it's right in front of us Mm -hmm. it would be wrong of us not not to talk about it um you know i'm gonna be honest i was nervous trying to talk about it um and that's just being straight up like we're all not perfect. We're all not going to say um, what the real thing is. Or for me, speaking on myself, like, I was nervous because I don't, I don't want to say the wrong thing, you know? Like, exactly. I don't want to offend exactly. anybody. I love everybody. Like, I, I wish nothing but happiness for every in everybody's life, you know? And I don't want to offend anybody at all. But I'm just saying, like, it's, it's hard to talk about it. I'm not perfect. Um, we're all not perfect. I feel like we could all agree on that. And we don't all have the right words and the right answers. But I feel that um, this discussion was good. I feel like um, it was, like, really solid. Like, I, I 
I know there's more there, but for me, as of right now, like, that's all I could say. And, like, I know it's not perfect. I know it's not um, everything, but it's what I can give right now, like, as of what I'm seeing, you know? Yeah. I know that there's a lot more stuff that I, I could talk about, but this is, like, from all of us, this is from the heart. Like, this yeah. is straight raw. We could have wrote it down. We could have memorized, like, no, this is straight mm-hmm. from the heart. And I'm sorry if, if I missed, like, missed anything. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want peace and love with everybody, man, because... Yeah. No matter no matter the how you look at it, man. No matter what race you are, sexual orientation, religion, whatever you believe in, deep down, we are all human beings. No matter what skin color, if you cut me open, I cut you open. We're both bleeding red. Like we're just human beings, yeah. man. Doesn't it's, matter. That's real. We have the same same common goal, and that's to be happy and achieve Successful. the best. Exactly. Yeah. So, just think of it that way. Just try to stay positive. Try to spread love and peace. That's that's all we want. And I'd, I'd be willing to say ninety nine point nine percent of people on Earth agree with what you just said. Yeah. There's just that very small fraction that don't, and that's just terrible. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you know, what's, you know what's crazy is I'm gonna I'm gonna try to change the subject, but it's still relatable. It's it's weird. I was thinking that thinking this the other day. My dad actually like went to this like, with the Rodney King riots, the LA riots. Mm-hmm. And he said, like, it was it was almost as bad as this, probably even worse. Like, he, he went to go with his friend, and I don't know if I'm saying this, like, I might be missing out some facts, but he said he was driving around the city of L.A. Not, he didn't want to go in because of how dangerous it was, but he saw business people on top of their own buildings with rifles, like, trying to defend their own own thing. But, you know, the the bad part about that was that the four, like the officers who did police brutality on uh, Ronnie King... Uh, weren't charged and they got away free. So I think that the good thing out of this is that the officers in that were there, especially what was his name, George, not Derek, George, Derek Chauvin. Derek Chauvin. What second degree murder? And by the way, oh, I wanted to say a quick point. Derek Chauvin should be put under the jail, whatever jail he goes to. However, first degree murder means that he would have had to plan this out, like he would have had to the day before, like. They would have to find evidence of him planning to mm. kill him ahead of time, which, I mean, I'm no cop, but I don't think there's any evidence of that. And if you do try to get him on first-degree murder charges and they don't find evidence of first-degree murder, that dude walks away free, and he can never be tried again. So my, um, what I think would be best, second-degree murder, which is good, he'll, he'll rot in a jail cell, and it's more likely to get a conviction because if you don't, if you go for the the highest degree of murder and he's found innocent on that, he cannot be tried again and he walks away free. So I, well, I didn't know that. I, didn't, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna be keep, I'm gonna keep it real. Like, um, I did not know that at all. Like he, for real, I didn't I didn't know that. And like, <clears throat> I don't know. That's crazy. I did not I didn't know that. And I know a lot of people want that like first yeah. first degree right like i mean if if it was possible to get him on first degree murder absolutely do it yeah. but i don't think that would be possible and i i want him locked up that's that's my whole that's my whole thing and i think everyone everyone agrees everyone agrees he was in the wrong yeah every single person mm-hmm. I don't, yeah okay um i don't want to sound rude or anything but we made this channel to Spread positivity and love. So let's yeah. let's let's switch it up a little bit. Okay. Um, how bad, from a scale to one to ten, do you guys miss Dodger baseball? Million. Dodger baseball, or even sports. NBA is coming back, but Dodger uh, baseball is the biggest. Mm. Please don't do a fifty-game season, please. Please. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try my best. Because I was, like, tense a little bit. Yeah. At the beginning of it. Mm-hmm. Do you feel tense? A little bit. Yeah. Because it's difficult. Yeah. But just to... Because I wanted to, like, cut it off. Mm-hmm. I just want to say, like, we, all of us, we love everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, We love just all you guys. And we want you... I know I keep saying it, and I know it might sound annoying, but, like, we just want you guys to be safe. Like, I care about every single person and if you ever get the chance today tomorrow whenever you get the chance just like hug the person you love the most because you never know all right you just never know and like 
That's all I want to say. Because mm-hmm. it's it's a tough world right now. Um, just um, putting, like, differences aside from what's going on right now, like, it's tough, right? Like, we're going through this for a reason. So I'm just saying that, like, love everybody. Like, just tell somebody how much you love them because you never know when when um, when it's the last time. You just never know. Mm-hmm. That's all I want to say. Sorry that I did that. I said that. No, that's I know good. it's kind of like I'm, I'm glad you said it. I know I mean, I'm, it's kind of like weird, but that's what I wanted to get off my chest, and now like I can move on to the next subject. Like I can talk. That's that's perfect. All right, cool. But do you have anything you want to say, or are you good? No, I'm okay. I'm good. Any last words about that subject? Or are you good? No matter what we go through as a country, we cannot forget. That the Astros cheated in the 27 World Series. You had me for a second. <laughs> we cannot forget You're not that the Astros cheated in the 2017 World Series and 2018 playoffs. And 19. Is yeah. 19 too? I mean, why would they stop? Um, yeah. Why would you stop? Man, I hate to say this. Rest in peace to Kobe. But everything went downhill once he died. Um, Before that, man, I was so excited. Before this whole virus, before everything, I was for so excited. LA, for L.A. Just for, for L.A. LA. L.A. was going to win a ring, and they probably still will, but it, I feel like it won't feel the same. Lakers were going to win a for ring Lakers, for Kobe. I think it would still feel the same because they played most of their season. For the Dodgers, however. This is going to be a weird season. Listen, this is man. Like, is this first time ever that we might play 50 games? Well, I feel like. Not. Well, there was the um, MLB lockout, which didn't they cancel the whole season? Mm-hmm. So it, it's happened before. I think when Jordan... And the la- they showed in the last dance too when Michael Jordan went into baseball. Mm-hmm. Remember when they were talking about like the, uh, the lockout and they were gonna have um, replaceable players or? Oh yeah, remember During they were spring t- yeah. training. Yeah, spring training. That was and Michael so Jordan's bad. like, if there's not MLB season, I'm not gonna play. So that's yeah. why I stepped down. So they missed an entire season that year. I oh. think it's gonna be weird. Okay, I have there's both things on my. I don't want a 50 game season because I feel like if the Dodgers finally win a ring, I keep keep saying that it's our year. That's LA. 50 <laughs> games is. I, it, there's just no point. Training. There's just no point. <sighs> Baseball, it's it's a long season. Base, you need to catch fire. You need a lot of games. Yeah, yeah. People say it all the time. Like I'm a second half type of player. We're a second half type of team. You need the games. You need to go through. It, excuse me. You need to go through it. In order to finish strong, I feel like that's every fairy tale in baseball. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, what the? Um, I hate to say it, but the Astros with their. Uh, with that natural disaster that they had, like they needed something to like spark it. Don't you dare say that, dude. I'm saying it and because then it's true. In Boston, Boston, uh, right? Yeah. Boston. Who else? There was somebody else, wasn't it? Um, New feel- Orleans. New Orleans Saints. Saints. Hurricane Katrina. Okay. Yeah. Was then. it the same year? It was pretty recently after. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, like, just like that, like. I, you gotta, you gotta also think of it on the bright side too, dude. Imagine hearing an that, eje- uh, that's what my, yeah, exactly. <laughs> imagine hearing an ejection with no fans. You know what I'm saying? Or like, like the crack of the bat, or the dugout, yeah, or just just like. Do you remember when um, there was like riots going on in Baltimore? Yeah, and the Orioles happened. played. Yeah, yeah, and, like, they couldn't let fans in. You know how cool that was, dude. That was crazy because you could hear people like blah blah blah. Like, yeah, you hear the players talking, the dugout talking, and like the commentators are like acting like it was a golf game because everyone was so quiet. Mm-hmm. Like. Dude, I'm my voice keeps cracking. Really? Every, I didn't. I didn't hear every you. podcast it cracks. <laughs> um, okay, JD. Yes. You're so um. You're so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just it. kidding. No, no, no. I'm not kidding. Why would I say that? Come on. Wow. I just. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I'm not kidding that you're beautiful. But I have a point. I have a question that I'm gonna ask you. You seem so against 50 games. I Why? Do. Because that's like one and a half sh- spring trainings. That's true. Imagine like I'm a second half team, so your first half's only twenty five games. Like, but dude, Mookie. Like, I don't think Mookie's going anywhere. I'm. I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah. This whole other thing. I'm no Nationals fan, of course, but weren't? Or am I thinking of another team? Weren't they pretty low in the standings, like halfway through the oh, season? They were oh, last yeah. place. Yeah, they were last place. Okay, yeah. With fifty games, that is not going to happen. The oh, Nationals yeah, have no shot of winning. That's that. true. That's a Say great you start point. off. Oh, well, this usually doesn't happen. Say you start off like zero and fifteen. That's you're a quarter of your you're season done. right there. You're you're done. you're done. There's no time to turn around. In regular season baseball, you can start like zero and thirty. 
I win 40. Still win. Okay, okay, okay. Easy there, much, Tiger. You get what this, I mean. is, this isn't the show here. Tough nuts. Yeah. Okay. And Tough nuts. I want to see baseball. If we do play 50 games, I would love for it to be a full 50 game spring training instead of a season. What? I'd be fine with that. You're not playing, playing for anything? Okay, I feel like the benefit of if you play 50 games. You know how like long it takes to recover for a baseball player after they played 162 games. Yeah, if you play 50 it's games, it's a lot of wear and tear. They're they're ready to get back out there. I feel like, but then you can't interfere with other sports, which I get. Mm. But if you play 50 games, I feel like the break, the off season is gonna be a little shorter. Which is, would you rather have a whole year of no baseball at all, or just a little little sprinkle? No. I would rather have no year. I'm what? sorry. What? No year. I'm sorry. I can't. I've been like, I've been craving baseball. Like. I miss hooking up my laptop on a bootleg um, oh, website. Not anymore? Not anymore? Not anymore, but you know what? It's a coincidence that it messed up this year. Oh, my gosh, dude. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm going to say it. You did. Would you rather have... I miss going to your house. I know. And watching Dodger games. I know. I Absolutely. Would you rather have... Would you rather wait a little bit longer for a full game of competitive hard-fought baseball? Or would you have 50 I'm going to stop you right there because I zoned out. I'm gonna be honest with you. I accidentally zoned out. <laughs> I need one more. One more we thought time. you were joking. No, no, no I swear. I'm would sorry. You, though. Would you rather have like wait a little bit longer for a full season of hard-fought baseball, 162 games, or would you rather them play 50 games this year and have let's say the Texas Rangers win it because they miraculously went 30 and 20? That would be dope. Like, think about the Knicks just winning it in 10 games. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, come on. We gotta. There's no. I get like we. But like, here's I the, want baseball too. Here's the thing. I don't. Th- I wouldn't be mad and upset if they don't have a season because if you think about it, I feel like baseball season just started last week and but it's June and mm. it was supposed to start in March, right? Yeah. Like yeah, I feel it's like time bad. is going by so like if we just mm. wait until next March, I feel like because this whole virus thing we already stayed inside. Like we don't. I thought like it was going by quicker. I, I don't know. That's just me. 2020 is a L. Fat L. But 2021 is going to be... I think 2021 boom, is going to be good, a good year for everybody. But I just want baseball, man. I think uh, we got to wrap it up, too. How many minutes? Like, it's close to 30 already. How much more minutes? Like, we should wrap it up right now. Oh. Okay. Before this goes, Blitzball, you need to join because big things are coming. If you want to join our Blitzball League... Hit us up. Watch the trailer. It has all our socials. Big things are coming. If you want to be on our Blitz Pod League, I promise you, it is going to be worth your while. Mm. We good? We're good. Okay. You want to say something? Um, just comment love. Comment love. That's it. Love will conquer. Love will conquer. Stay safe out there. Stay positive. Fight for what's right. Um, stay together. Do not fight each other. Spread love and peace. And that's... Comment love. Yes, sir. All right. Astros cheated. We'll see you later.